Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to some of you and peace out to the rest of you. Black Heart, signing black in again, asking you to uh, hit that share button first because the share button benefits us. Uh, thank you, sir. Assalamu alaikum. The share button benefits us. The like and subscribe ben- buttons benefit me, but if you hit either one of them, then I thank you. Although I request the share for reasons you already know. The message being more important. Um, this message is for that grand master troll or something like the uh, infamous doxer. Now, that being said, um, what I'm saying is not out of hatred, but now I made the joke about the lotion on the tweezers. That was me. I admit that. Now, even though I'm recording this now, and yeah, I said it, and I think it was kind of funny. It was in bad taste for somebody my age. Frankly, I'm just too old to be saying stuff like that, even though I do disagree. And I know that you, uh, I know that what you're doing is a problem for people. I am on the side of those in the manosphere because I'm in the manosphere. So I'm alaykum. Hey. Thanks for putting up the cigarettes, gentlemen. Oh, you just, you just stole, uh, stole it from somebody else earlier? I'm gonna find out. All right, sorry about that, gentlemen. Um, so anyway, the, um, uh, I am in, in fact, on their side. I make no bones about it. I do not have at heart uh, the best interests of those that are against the manosphere. But I do have at heart the interest of being fair and just. I haven't had time to listen, KT, to all of your videos. And I will not have time because of the length of them and the other videos that I have to watch. I don't have a choice. And the fact that I got to do my job in the real world and manage a family. But let's talk about that family right quick. With no hatred. Um... I've got uh, minor children and a grown child. I'm not important enough, and you may never hear this video, because I'm I'm just not that important. I get it. There are other uh, people who have many more subscribers and likers and followers than I do. They should. They've been there longer. Um, They've had more content to put out. They do it professionally. I don't. I don't take any money from YouTube because they just cut it off anyway. And then not only that, but... uh, there are some people that that wanted to kill me back when I lived in the States. And I managed to convince them that I was dead, but that made making a living pretty hard. Um, and finally, I got out of the U.S. I'm safe, but my kids still have to live in the U.S. because they're minors. I want you to understand and realize that what I'm going to say now is not me talking junk or talking trash. Even though I am on the opposite side of this thing as you, obviously, it's, I, I do have to be fair as a Muslim. I haven't seen your video, so I can't start off hostile until you uh, take it to a hostile tone. But I can disagree with you. And I can also tell you that you have a better talent than this. You can do better than just doxing people, but you went really low when you doxed kids, even if they were grown, because you disagreed with the dad. That <laughs> was low down, cold blooded. And I am sure that um, you convinced BGS to leave. I thought at first he was talking about somebody else. I know that you doxed him. I thought someone else had doxed his kids. Then someone sent the link where apparently it was you that doxed his daughter. At the 17 minute and three second mark. That's what they earmarked. I started to listen to it. I got interrupted by my boss. He doesn't know anything about Blackheart and the Manosphere. He has something else to talk about. So I admit I get interrupted in in doing a lot of research. But if you, in fact, doxed his kids, that's a new low. If you did not, it was not you. This is a great time to come out and say it wasn't you because many people think that it was you. You could come out now and explain that, no, you didn't dox the daughter. Uh, Someone else did. And I would say, okay, I stand corrected. Blood, if you doxed the daughter, that was low. And BGS did not... um, He did not make any threats. I would not either. But understand that if you continue in this vein, you will dock someone's kids and they won't make threats. They'll just come after you and they'll do something to you. Now, I would hurt somebody and kill someone even to protect my kids. I would not be willing to spend a minute in handcuffs for it either. The cops would have to kill me. I'd give them the excuse they need. Not because I'm brave, but because I'm actually more scared of captivity under the control of white folks than I am of a grave. 
I can trust God to judge me fairly and not punish me for things I did not do and oppress me. I don't trust white folk to do that. I don't trust most black folk to do that. Or rather to not do that oppression stuff. But stop and think about this too, man. I'm not even here to talk junk, but just to tell you that this is the route that you're going, but you don't have to go that route. And you have a talent. You can actually make more content. You made some, you made some points. You've done a bit of uh, explaining that you're against it, but... Uh, and I know, I know that much even without seeing most of your videos, but you could do more of it. That could be your focus like ours is. That would be better, sir. Last thing I'm going to say is this. You don't want to be the black male Oprah Winfrey of the black manosphere. And right now, that's the that's the direction you're headed in. Your docs uh, are pro-black males kids, um, but I was looking through the titles of the videos and I didn't see where you doc Cynthia G. Black Woman Sphere, Paris Milan, or Chrissy, just to make sure that those are their real names. Um, you know, Light Skin uh, Love. Not that I hate her, but you know, she got a white dude and all that stuff, and I didn't see you dox her. You only doxed, at least according to the titles, you have doxed only pro-black men of the manosphere. No one else. That's exactly what Oprah Winfrey's done. She got issues with uh, uh, sexual abuse. Apparently she doesn't. She only has issues with black males committing sexual abuse. And even then, if they do it to another black male, she ain't said nothing about that. No, nothing, nothing like that. No, she's only going after black males who are high profile that got accused even when the evidence exonerated them. Even when they were her buddies. That's where Oprah Winfrey's gone. If you go that route, believe you me, you will be like her, persona non grata, but without those billions and without that protection. Unless, of course, you've already made arrangements with some government guys we don't know about. Like what they tried to do with Malcolm and he recorded them. Y'all heard that. Everybody's heard that recording by now. You don't want to be that route, bro. Because, see, they tried to uh, get Malcolm to go against uh, uh, Elijah and he was already on the outs with Elijah. And he tried to get, he wouldn't do it on, on behalf of the white man. His disagreement, he made it plain. His disagreement was his own. He wasn't going to do this to make white folk happy or to make the FBI happy. You understand? The official story is that the FOI and the uh, FBI killed him. I mean, the unofficial story. He still got taken out by some men affiliated with the ones he had bef refused to betray to the other FBI. He still had to pay the price as though he had betrayed them, even though he didn't betray them. Assalamu alaikum. Shalonak. Alhamdulillah. So if he had to uh, pay that tri price, even after he would not betray them to the enemy, what do you think is going to happen to you when you don't have that kind of security? But you don't have to go that route. You got the talent and you have the technology to simply make content and state your platform and tell us why we're wrong if you're so right. That's it, man. I'm not going to go into much more. I got to go to work anyway. Um, hopefully this will benefit you and anybody else who hears it. And hopefully any, any negative things I've said will not be true one day in the future. Thanks to the audience for listening. Black heart sign and black out again. Assalamu alaikum and black male power.